I want to experiment with... I never tested whether or not I could scan the laser cutter. We'll do a glitchless required tool speed run, shall we? We have spawned in a very similar place. That's funny. I mean, it is based on like timestamp and everything, and it's been oh, over a week. <laughs> That's still kind of funny. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Well, we can make some batteries, which is a good start. Uh, we should actually dive down and pick up the like sandstone stuff too to be honest looks like we've got boxes as well which is nice I was speaking this would actually be a really good start <laughs> the required tools you actually want to be down the bottom end anyway let's just grab all of these I don't think I need quartz for this because I probably won't be building a base but whatever Maybe we do just build a base. So why not? Let's not drown. I think we might have already. I think that ship may have sailed. No. Ah, oh, just. <laughs> I'd like to cut it fine. Battery! Second battery. So we can make a scanner. We can already make a bunch of other stuff. Titanium. Uh, scanner. We can make an oxygen tank, but we kind of don't want to. Because that makes us go slower. You're a mobile vehicle by over there. You guys are sea glides, though. So I do then need uh, creek vine seeds. So now we have to go this way. New blueprint acquired. Don't need the third one. Don't technically even need the other one. You can get away with fewer batteries than that. That's way too many of those, but that's fine. So, what we need to do is, after we build a laser cutter, we need to scan it, for one, to see what it does. See if it unlocks anything anymore. So, lubricant, silicone rubber, we'll make two lubricants. Um, maybe we make three. I don't know. We'll make an extra one of those. So, knife. O2 tank. Uh, it interrupts it for the animation. That's so annoying. Sea glide. We can now make the high capacity tank. We don't quite have enough titanium for that, though. Glass, we need one more quartz as well. Alright, well. Stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Battery, because why not? Alright. Let's go exploring over here. Because we want a couple of cave sulfur. We're also going to need some diamonds to actually make the laser cutter, which is a little bit awkward. Um, need some more quartz to make glass for the larger two tank grab another few in case we want to make a base we may as well why not sandstone why not uh, no crash fish there you are okay. one i need two is there any one in here yeah oh, well that's a bit rude well we know where there is always one so There's usually some in the low ceiling cave over there, but there's always one right here. Good. 
Won't even bother grabbing the extra. Uh, what should we call it? Sandstone. So we can now make the repair tool. Uh, and the habitat builder. Should probably grab some more metal salvage actually, if there's any around. Just titanium in general, just over scan this. Because we're going to need a little bit more titanium. Uh, yeah, one more glass, that's right. Okay, then we can take this off. And upgrade it immediately, and then we can immediately learn how to make the rebreather, which will also be handy. Uh, computer chip. Copper wire. Oh, we didn't get the table coral. That was silly of me. And then we need a uh, fiber mesh as well for that. Uh, fins, I don't think I care about. Repair tool we'll make, though. Uh, if nothing else, because, okay, we want to take a look at the data bank. Blueprints, equipment, so we've got, yeah, there we go, so blueprints, repair tool. So that shows up there as well as the scanner. So you don't need to scan the scanner and you don't need to scan the repair tool. I mean, as you shouldn't have to do. <laughs> Let's take the battery out of that because we don't need it. And I am kind of actually curious. I'm going to make a second scanner. And then attempt to scan my scanner. <laughs> or scan one of my scanners. Because I did find out that so if we drop the repair tool we can scan the repair tool but it doesn't do anything because we already have the information for it which is correct scanner we can't scan the scanner good <laughs> i would hope not <laughs> let's just drop both of those to be honest here anyway they could just live there now actually you know what uh, if we drop them on top of like this, then they probably, oh, actually the dogs are probably going to steal them anyway. We'll just put them in the locker, that's fine. <laughs> um, we need some table coral and creep vine sample. It's almost night time, we're, we're slow. <laughs> we're out of practice. Oh well, uh, table coral. We should have the. I mean, we were just literally wasting time. We should have the. What should we call it by now? The habitat builder by now. It's fine. Drop them on the life pod? Not a bad idea, actually. Should have thought of that. Doesn't matter. They're in a locker now, and there they can remain. So we now have the habitat builder, which we should also try and scan. Fiber mesh, and. Oh, I need another wiring kit. Oh, and we're short one silver. Rude. That's fine. Uh, let's just drop you here. I need more titanium as well. Hey. Okay. There's a lot of boxes over here. I should have just made the solar panel immediately because then I could start getting power. So at least it'll have oxygen because otherwise it's not even going to have oxygen. It's not quite white night time yet. We won't be able to do any crafting, but then we don't have materials to make a fabricator anyway, so that's fine. Hatch we're just going to put here. Actually, we should do side hatch strats, probably. Power restored. All uh, we'll primary systems online. There we go. Can we even make a second one? No. Don't need to make this one. Uh, yeah, we need a table coral sample for that. That's fine. Uh, and we need another silver, anyway. I can't remember what you use to make the laser cutter. It's just titanium, two diamonds, and a cave sulfur, I think, isn't it? Any sandstone down here? Well, there always is through here. Let's just run the gauntlet. You do that loop, and it generally 
procs all of the caves, uh, the crash fish, and they never follow you, so you're always safe. It's just quite a fun little loop that you can do. And now there's more cave sulfur than we can shake a stick at. Oh, there was, there was actually one more. Oh, go away, Mesma. Not interested in you. Need some radiation, will Don't have a timer on it, so I have no idea what the actual time is, but it's like 10 minutes, I guess, because it is dark and daytime is until like 9 minutes. Alright, we could almost make a second one, but I don't think I care. I can't even make a wall locker. Never mind. We don't need to make anything else anyway. Uh, we have a ton of stuff that we just do not need. Oh, we needed to make a. Why am I going outside? I can do it here. Wiring kit and rebreather. So now we can get to the depths. We can even make a second tank if we wanted to. Um, it's just because we want to be able to. I didn't make a need to make another scanner, you idiot. Well, I guess I have a, another charged battery. <sighs> the danger of misclicks. That one can just go to the seabed and be stalking food. Alright, let's just go to the red grass now and scan the laser cutter. So, just double checking, we have no information about the laser cutter currently. We have very little information about anything, in fact. So we want to make a laser cutter and then scan it. We don't want to scan anything to do with the sea moth whatsoever to avoid it potentially tainting our pool. Um, because we want to learn whether or not we get plasteel from the nuclear reactor yet, since that's also something that was broken. And we want to see if they've actually fixed anything. Laser cutter fragment. See, just scanning the first one should normally give you the data bank. Like, if we scan the battery charger, I don't actually know if this has something to do with it, but... No, that's that's one out of two and doesn't give us anything either. What about the mobile vehicle bay? Oh, we already know about the mobile vehicle bay and everything. Anyway, bad example. <laughs> Propulsion cannon. Nice. See, there we go. Data bag entry unlocked. Blueprints. Propulsion cannon. This is what should happen as soon as you scan the laser cutter. But it doesn't. So I'm guessing it still does the same thing. There's the blueprint synthesized propulsion cannon. And there's the laser cutter door. <laughs> that has the laser cutter parts below it. So I don't see any boxes handy. So we're going to pop into the lower section. It's because the wrecks aren't sectioned up correctly, right? There we go. Like, the wreck is its own, like, a biome. And it doesn't have any distinction between its different parts, so it doesn't know that this is only accessible by laser cutter. Uh, lightweight high capacity tanks. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll pick that up. New blueprint synthesized. I don't think that has a data bank entry. No. Uh, modification station. Does this? Yes, so there we go. Modification station. That shows up. Laser cutter. Here we go. So we'll be three for three. Blueprint synthesized. Still nothing in the data bank. Mobile vehicle bay fragments. And that's the door that we were looking at before. <laughs> and now we can go down to this one and see if there's anything else. Modification station, we'll finish this off, why not? I'm not going to do anything with it, but mobile vehicle bay, yeah, why not? Blueprint synthesized, mobile vehicle bay. I mean, honestly, even the mobile vehicle bay should be what unlocks plasteel, since you need plasteel for most of the vehicles that are involved. Lightweight high capacity tank also requires plasteel, does not unlock it. So we already have one thing that requires plasteel, and we don't know how to make it. Vehicle upgrade console, that doesn't. 
blueprint synthesized also should have a databank entry but doesn't that gives us hydrochloric acid interestingly the let's go out so we don't drown before we start ranting again up we go let's go up to the surface and then assess things so getting the vehicle upgrade console doesn't give us a databank entry for the vehicle upgrade console um, you get it in creative by default but you don't get it at all in non-creative um, because something that we now know the existence of some of this stuff here so we learn all of this stuff we don't even know the prawn suit exists yet but we get this stuff not from scanning the prawn but just by unlocking the um, upgrade console that requires plasteel and does anything else no nothing else requires plasteel but that that requires plasteel the the depth module mark one but it doesn't give us plasteel however this requires polyaniline and rather than waiting for us to pick up a deep shroom this gives us both hydrochloric acid and polyaniline we don't even know deep shrooms exist yet it's so weird the the logic on the upgrade unlocks is still so broken more plasteel requiring things we, we don't even know about plasteel the stuff that requires kyanite it's like okay this needs kyanite what the hell is kyanite instead of it unlocking when you get kyanite it's like oh now you've discovered this you can make all of this stuff you know the, the pda computer can then analyze and go oh this is useful now we can use it for all of this stuff i don't mind it being backwards i kind of like it being a case of teasing it's like the pda goes okay i've identified that these things should exist on this planet but then how does it have a long-range scanner like it must have a it's probably got a short-range scanner but it shouldn't be able to tell that far away right <laughs> so yeah it's weird the game logic is very broken we need to go more this way we probably don't want to go over the top of mabel but eh it's probably fine as long as we stick along the surface then we're probably safe and then we just want to go down to the big wreck and scan nuclear reactor because that's the other thing that requires plasteel and historically has never given it to you i didn't even know about the other stuff or didn't even think about the other stuff lightweight requires plasteel i thought it was just lithium nope it requires plasteel always has to my knowledge uh maybe if it's existing below zero maybe the below zero one only needed lithium that's the thing is I, I feel that there was other improvements they could have made like it's meant to be lightweight why are we adding an entire plasteel ingot to make it right when you consider that a cyclops requires three plasteel ingots to create that means a plasteel ingot is a very big thing this should not require a plasteel ingot to make it should only require lithium and like i can understand there being some inconsistencies and some things that don't fully make sense you know some wiggle room but it's when you then roll out a v 2.0 update that you purport as having all of these extra fixes and quality of life changes but you leave the blueprint system fundamentally flawed it bothers me <laughs> I truly thought it was just lithium yeah i mean i never made it <laughs> i've never paid attention really the close attention because i've never made it it only has the same oxygen capacity as the standard ones so it's like well, why would i make it there's there's no incentive oh it's it's lighter for when i'm swimming without the sea glide when am i ever swimming without the sea glide <laughs> that's funny nuclear reactor cyclops engine actually no i shouldn't scan that in case it unlocks things for me i'm fairly sure i need to unlock the whole thing not just a part of it but
nuclear reactor which unlocks the reactor rod and it unlocks funnily enough the nuclear reactor which requires plasteel but it does not unlock plasteel <laughs> does the grapple arm require plasteel i can't remember i don't think it, so these just require lithium Yet, the lightweight tank requires plasteel. Near acquired. Moon pool. We're just going to drown here, by the way. I'm just <laughs> We're just going to base warp. Death warp, rather. Alien containment, sure. I would have liked another moon pool fragment, just for the sake of it. But it doesn't really matter, because I'm never going to build it. We are not staying in the save. This is purely experimentative. We could maybe we can scan an entire Cyclops engine fragment. There we go, engine blueprint. Oh, that's a moon pool, and I've run out of time. Oh well, moon pool doesn't require anything useful, so it's not doing anything. They needed variety. Yeah, well, that's for sure. Back to the life pod. Well, actually, our base shouldn't even be the life pod. There we go. You died. Correct. Still no plasteel. Like, not even scanning part of the Cyclops. It, it can't even derive that. You can pin this, by the way. You can pin the engine blueprint. Cool. That's that's handy. Ah, <laughs> uh, funny. Any containment? Yeah, nuclear reactor. Cool. Still no It's Still no plasteel. But as soon as we scan the Seamoth, we get Plasteel. Seamoth doesn't need Plasteel. <laughs> I kind of want to just run back, run this back and do like a glitchless speedrun now. But that might just be something I do a different day. I don't know. Very least I should probably restart the game. In case it crashes or anything on me. Because I don't trust that that's been fixed either. <laughs> it has been, it seemed more stable. But I don't think there's much else for us to do at the moment other than something like that, and I don't think I feel like doing something like that. There we go, plasteel ingot. Cool. Oh, that must be because the sea moth needs it. No. No, it's not. Benzene. So this tells us about benzene. We don't know how to make benzene. And yet the... And that's the thing. Is I wouldn't mind that so much except the inconsistency is there that the vehicle upgrade console gives you all of the stuff relating to things you don't even know exist yet if you're playing for the first time and it tells you how to make these things that are required by them just for free using materials that you don't even know exist yet. So, yeah. It's weird. Anyway, I don't think there's much point pursuing the save any further. I'm going to... Honestly, I'm actually going to end stream. I've been going for two and a half hours, but... New glitch this looks fun, except there's a little too much unstuck at the beginning. Yeah, I haven't actually watched a full run. I'll be honest, I have not watched... I, I've watched some bits when the, when the theory was being crafted, and Self was experimenting with some of the unstuck strats and stuff, but I've not actually watched a full run. So I don't know what's required elsewhere in the run. But I'm just not a fan of the unstuck cheese anyway. I hate that they added it to the game. It's something that was not necessary. Well, put it this way. It's something that shouldn't be necessary if the game was less prone to just breaking and having people stuck. But the thing is that what's most likely to get stuck is things like your prawn suit, and then the unstuck command does not help. So... <laughs> what's the point? Otherwise, there's not many situations you can get yourself into that you are literally stuck. It's weird. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that either. I kind of, I want to set a like sub hour run without using unstuck because that should be possible for me. Mostly I just need to be better and I think I just needed a better radiation warning to be honest. Anyway, 